figures, six foot or six inches. I don't give a fuck about money. I think that's cap. So, six right. foot, six. Six, six, six foot. Six foot. Fuck! Six fucking foot. Six foot is short. Six foot. Six foot. Wow, I guess I'm out. Tall skinny guys or short muscular tall guys? Tall skinny guys, tall skinny guys. Oh, why? I don't know. That's just been Damn, right really? Yeah. You're not to shorter? No, like 6'1 and above. Well, I'm tall too, kind of, so like... Yeah. They have to be 6'1 and above? Well, no, not 6'1, okay. but like taller than me. Okay. By a, bit, by a bit, by a bit. By a bit? How's my height? Is my height good? You're like my height. What? No? I'm not... How tall, how tall is he? I'm definitely taller than you. I mean, back to back, you know what I'm saying? Definitely taller than you. That's funny. Down on a dark, uh, on a shorter man. You shit it on him. You shit it on him. You say you feel like you could slap oh him around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. Yeah, got you. Got him. You sure? I just feel like, you know, you can't protect me. You also felt about that, about the light skinned dudes. I mean, I didn't say that. I said, you I said, used to point. feel like that. I mean, why do you feel so, like that? Because you're so little. I feel like if a big guy came and slapped my butt, you're going to be mad scared. Like, I think about stuff like that's, that. That's like, you do anything, that's my ass too. I don't advocate for any violence, but a short dude could defend his girl. It's called pistol permit or gun license. My worry would be your girl initiating the confrontation, then wanting you to finish it. But trust, with a legal gun license, you can protect her and yourself. So, I actually really love this question. I want to bring a little perspective and hopefully make things a little clearer for you guys. So, when you're growing up watching movies, you're watching Princess and Prince Charming and all these things, What's one thing that we can all agree on? The man is always taller than the woman, always. In every movie, in every action film, the damsel in distress is never taller than the hero. She's never towering over him or looking down on him. She's always looking up, made to feel small and petite and like she needs her man to help her and rescue her. But wait, isn't that a gender stereotype to women? The traditions of men being strong and the women being weak? I guess it could be a double standard when they think it's okay. Otherwise, men will be called toxic and misogynist when we treat women weak. Can you make up your mind, please? Being taller than your man, we get that taken away from us. We don't get the opportunity to feel small and feel helpless. On top of the fact, on top of the fact that every single day I'm fighting for my life. We're always being called different names, getting compared to animals and objects and Lord knows what else. It's a lot. And so naturally we become more guarded and more offensive and we have to be more in our masculine quote unquote energy. But shorter women don't have that issue. Shorter women don't have to be on guard physically all the time in a way that taller women do. And when you're with your man, you wanna feel small, you wanna feel petite, you wanna feel protected. And it's hard to feel that way with a man that's smaller than you. Society has not normalized women being taller than men. It's very much taboo, it's usually a joke, it's usually some weird phenomenon. And when you're living in a society like ours, you wanna fit in, you wanna be normal for the most part. So when we have an opportunity to feel that way with our spouse or someone that we're dating, we want it, as anyone does. It's something that's normal until you realize it's actually a luxury when you don't have it. When you don't get to have that small, innocent, petite, and helpless feeling. I get it, when you love who you love, a lot of that stuff goes out the window, and that's fine. But I'm just making the point that this is why we would like someone taller than us. That's all. It's just a luxury that we don't get to enjoy. Hope that helps. Oh, oh okay. Hey! You already know what I'm, I just said. You know, y'all had to pass. Ah! I'm sorry, but you know, you know, <laughs> pass. Ah! I almost feel bad. I'm pass. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. You seem really nice, though. We could chill. I'm sorry, baby. It's the height, but we could be friends. We could, you know, we could kick it, you know. What tripped me out about women, they show how much followers they really are. If one of them say and act the way, they all do the same damn thing. So since all of the girls is rejecting this dude, they all got to do it to stay in uniform. Damn robots. <laughs> It's okay. You're not ugly, but you just, you know, really I'm already short myself. You feel me? Okay. I know I'm short. <laughs> I'm a fast because I'm kind of tall. I'm a fast because you're my homie. I, I can see over you. Uh, if you was taller, I would smash, but you short, so I'm a pass. By the way, if the roles were reversed and the short dude was in front of a land well and he said, I would date you, but I can't see around you, he would be body shaming. 
Double standards, bruh. Okay. Okay, you funny and all, but like, you a midget. I can't do it. Uh, I'll tell you. But no, I'm talking to you. you I'll tell you. <laughs> you got six feet. That's what I'm saying. That'll be dope. Look at his height next to me. Nigga, look at your height next to me. <laughs> Look, I'm five foot eleven. I'm really tall for a woman. And if I put heels on, I'm even damn taller. But I don't try to make myself look shorter. I'm really proud of it. You know, models are tall for God's sake. Who wants to be short? Sorry if you're short. But then again, you have the pick of the bunch with the men. If you're short or attractive, pretty much everyone's taller than you. On a personal note, I don't like dating shorter men. I feel like the masculine person in the relationship. I like to feel feminine. And when I feel smaller than someone, I feel more feminine. I like tall men, big guys, because of the way they make me feel. And that's that. I like to put on heels and be next to a tall man. Now, the thing is, a lot of men do like taller women. They love it. It's almost a fetish for them. Uh, but then for others, it really, really intimidates them. I have to be honest, if I go into a bar or a club back in the day, I would find it seriously difficult to pull men. And you know why? It's because I am seriously tall in heels. I'm way taller than these men in England. There's no chance they're going to approach me. I'm like, I'm like a super weapon against them. They're going to think, oh my God, how can I pull this woman? She's so tall. So if you are tall, great, be proud of it. And don't worry, there are lots of tall men around, they're just a little bit harder to find. When they ask why short women like tall men. Back in like the hunter-gatherer days, um, you could literally get killed by an animal any second, right? So that's why like part of passing our genes on is to do with making sure that our children survive. That's why as women, it's in our programming that we find it attractive when a guy's got muscles and he's tall because that shows that he's got the physical strength to protect us and protect our offspring. Oh, oh okay. Hey! Overweight, 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 purple hair. I matched with this guy, and when I tell you guys it was a nightmare, um, let me explain. So he sent me a message the day, like during the day, whatever, and said like, how's your day? And then followed up with, let's cut the bullshit and not waste time. Give me your phone number and I'll call you when I'm off and we'll see if we connect. And I was like, being an idiot. And I was like, here's my number. Talk to you soon. He called me and it was fine. And then it wasn't like it was... It, just strange and awkward he was it's uh, I don't even know anyway so he started asking me questions like hobbies what do I do all that stuff and um then it went to do you consider yourself fit do you consider yourself confident like who doesn't and then he asked me how much I weighed and when I said sir you're five eight at best with a man bun in 2022 fuck off he didn't like it overweight 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 Purple hair. Nah, the worst part about dating apps is they're not designed for you. You have to pay to say if you want people over a certain height. So here I am with the four foot fives. A sea kings. of them, short kings. And I can't even say that I'm 5'11 and I maybe like someone that's a bit taller than me. It's a whole other job. A recent study found that shorter men need to earn more money to be deemed equally attractive to taller men. So a man who's five foot six needs to earn an additional 175,000 per year to be as desirable as a man who is six feet tall. Oh, oh, okay, hey! Overweight, 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 purple hair. I first want to say that height preference is only one part of the equation when it comes to attractiveness. It doesn't mean everything, but it does come to show what we find as attractive. I'm sharing the data that I found, and this is no, in no mean my own opinion. Peak of attractiveness in height for women is around 5'6 to 5'7, and for male, it's six feet, and every inch above that is a decrease. There is such thing as too tall for both men and women. Six five and above is too tall for men, but it's still significantly better than guys who are below 5'11". For women, height doesn't matter as much because a six feet girl is just as desirable as a 5'4 girl. Data from other sources says the exact same thing in relations to their own relationship. And when it comes to relationship, 
women does tend to want their men to be taller, whereas men are pretty equal in terms of their preferences for women. But height is not everything. Oh, oh okay. Hey! Overweight, 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 overweight. Purple hair. Well, well, well. How the turntables... Five seven and handsome, or six two and unattractive. Five two and handsome. Five two and handsome. Oh wow, you went even down for him. But mm -hmm. all right. I uh, like my men beautiful. There you go. You like your men beautiful. I do like my men. My men beautiful. Here's the weird thing I don't understand is why women are so obsessed with having tall ass dudes. For what? For literally what? So you could break your neck staring at him? Um, no, I don't fucking think so. I love short dudes. I love a guy who I can look at him at this eye level. Okay? And to all your girls like, oh, I need a tall guy to like reach something for the cabinet. Bitch, get that shit yourself. Climb on the fucking counter. That shit's more fun. Anyways, why would you want a tall man just so he could be grabbing you shit? What? Or, oh, I need a tall dude because he's so strong and he can beat anybody's ass. Um, hello? Bruce Lee was like five foot fucking eight. He could kill, kick all these motherfuckers' asses anyway. So it is literally not about height. Height ain't shit. I fucking love short dudes. Honestly, like, I was with this dude who was five five. I'm telling you, he had the... Mm, best mm, ever literally i don't care i love short dudes but to all you girls who are like i need i need a tall guy go find your tall guy short kings short or poor up. short i don't mind short at all i really don't i don't know why it's such a big deal i don't want a guy who's like six seven i don't want to feel like a baby I mean, honestly, horizontal, everyone's the same height. Poor, for sure, yeah. I mean, obviously, if anyone knows me, they know I do poor. <laughs> oh, so you, pref you like poor? I, it's not what I, it's, you know, it's what's happening. Poor guys are good in bed. Yeah, they're great. It's called futon dick. Yeah, they need yeah. a place to sleep. Yeah. Poor, because they can get rich. And a sh <laughs> and, but a shorty's not going to get tall. Oh, I love me a little short man. I do. You do? Yeah, I do. A little pocket-sized man. Why do you like short men? Oh my god, they're easy to dominate. Oh my god, it's always both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a short, rich guy over a poor, tall... Nope, I'll take a tall guy. <laughs> I'd rather short. I don't do poverty. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date a guy under 5'6"? I would, yeah. I don't really care about height. What's the shortest guy you've ever slept with? Oh, I think he... Uh, I think he was about my height, so like 5'5". Five, five. Was it good? It was all right, yeah. What does a short guy have to have to get your attention? Personality. Okay, so personality means more than height. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so there's hope. Okay, there's you're hope, great. There's hope for all of you. Do you ever lie about your height to women so that they'll date you? I've never gone on a date. You've never gone on a You're smart. Never go on a date, ever. I hope you get a good toy in that. You're smart. Never. Just die alone. It's great. Okay. You're going to be fine. You're wonderful. Thank you. It's like a Spanish Pokemon catcher. You know the guy that catches the Pokemon? What's his name? Ash something? He looks like Ash. <laughs> Thank you, Shaq. <laughs> the thing about height and attraction is it falls under preference. And... The subject of preference is a very debated topic in today's dating society. And in the last video, people pointed out that weight can be a preference. And yes, different weight classes can be preference. However, it's the fact of how he went about dealing with his preference. There's a difference between a preference and a connection. And this guy was talking about having a connection with a girl and seeing himself, but she was too heavy for him to see himself with her. First off, he could have gone about this in such a different way. He could have just not said anything and carried on their friendship. Second, a girl doesn't need to lose weight to be deemed acceptable to date. Just like a man doesn't have to be six foot to be deemable to date. I think both ends of the spectrum are kind of fucked up, but but how he handled the situation was not just. Oh, oh okay. Hey! Overweight, 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 overweight. <laughs> That's why research is important. You know the average guy height is only 5'8 through 5'10, okay? Only 12% of the world is over 6 feet tall. Of the world. Ladies, if you want a guy over 6 feet, okay, you see the statistics, it ain't gonna be easy. A lot of us fellas been watching a lot of American sports, okay? And even the players that look short, like Stephen Curry, is still taller than most people, okay? Look at him. He's 6'3", and Isaiah Thomas, a 5'9", average height guy, and he still looks a lot taller than him. 
But a lot of people forget the NBA only got 400 players, and that's 400 players that want to play basketball out the whole world, okay? But guys reaching a height of 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", is not common. I know some places got tall people, but on average, okay? Even the average fella love to is only five, okay? So if you got six, you above. So fella, you are good. Yeah, man. Don't let these women get you in the red pill rage. Just improve yourself, make the best version of yourself, and what you want will come to you, right? All right, man. I'm going to end it right here. Everybody have a good one. Peace. Thank you, Shaq. <laughs>